Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you haven't heard already, um, PC World recently um, ran some tests to measure the performance on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And the long and the short of their tests were that um, there is not much real difference between the performance of Windows 10 over Windows 11. And just to give you a quick background um, into the tests, um, they were run on very similar machines with very similar hardware. And um, they looked at the performance across a variety of tasks and aspects of the two operating systems being Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, according to the test results, which we'll have a look at quickly, and I'll also leave my personal opinion uh, to the end of the video if that would be of interest. According to the tests run recently by PC World, um, there was a bit of give and take. So there were times when um, Windows 10 um, had better performance and there were times when Windows 11 had better performance. So um, as I mentioned, at the end of the day, not much real difference between the performance of the operating systems, of course, according to PC World. Now, if we have a look at some of their tests, um, if you haven't seen these already, um, the first is a Cinebench, um, which measures rendering. And the red at the top is uh, Windows 11, as you can see, Windows 11 22H2, and the green is Windows 10 22H2, and as mentioned, run on very similar hardware. So that's the Cinebench rendering test, um, not much difference going on there. And if we head on to the Nero score uh, test, which measures the CPU performance between Windows 11 and Windows 10, uh, yeah, it seems that not much difference, but Windows um, 11, just pop in Windows 10 in the different uh, performance tests uh, regarding uh, the CPU, the central processing unit. Heading on to uh, the handbrake uh, tests, which test the video codec conversion or transcoding, as we can see, once again, not much real difference going on there. Windows 11 22H2, just pop in uh, Windows 10 version 22H2. And then we head to the web browser test, which is Chrome version 107, which um, was the prior release to the latest release, version 108. And uh, yeah, we can see um, not much real difference when it comes to Motion Mark version 1.2, uh, Windows 10 22H2 actually pipped um, Windows 11 when it comes to performance. And then the final test regarding gaming results, just to have a quick overview of this. Um, this measures the performance and here we can see not much real difference um, when it comes to the performance of both operating systems and um, with the gaming results and um, they show a very similar performance. So that's just a very brief summary of some of those tests which uh, PC World did undertake and they actually posted a YouTube video on that which I'll actually leave a link to in the description if that would be of interest where you can just go check out uh, their tests and that video more in depth if that would be of interest. Now when it comes to my personal opinion regarding my personal experience running Windows 11 and Windows 10. When Windows 10 first came out, the original release version 21H2, I would say that Windows 10 had better performance when it comes to my two devices. And my two devices have very similar hardware. And uh, with Windows 10 version 21H2 and Windows 11 version 21H2, I would say that I felt that Windows 10 had a, a little bit of a better performance, overall performance when it came to start up and shut down and just a bit of a snappier feel. But that all kind of changed when Windows 11 version 22H2 rolled out um, in uh, September, October last year. And I did feel that uh, Windows 11 um, on my two devices compared to Windows 10 and was a little bit more snappier and did have faster startup and shutdown time. So um, up until Windows 11 version 22H2, I would have said that Windows 10 had the best performance when it comes to my personal experience. But with the rollout of Windows 11 version 22H2, when it comes to the hardware that I'm running, which is very similar on both devices, I would say that Windows 11 22H2 is a little bit more snappier in its overall performance. But at the end of the day, um, I do kind of agree with um, uh, PC World that there is actually, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, not r really that much real difference between the overall performance of Windows 10 versus Windows 11. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.